Chair, thanks for that um, update on the orange-bellied parrot. And I, um, I think it's really important that you've talked about the need to provide active support to take critically endangered species away from the brink of extinction. Um, I contrast that really um, starkly with the response that you've had to the um, now um, highly endangered Morgian skate, which the latest IMAS report, you would understand, uh, predicts it's likely to go extinct in the near future without urgent action and Tasmania's um, most internationally eminent um, uh, specialist on the skate, Neville Barrett, has, um, has fe fears for the coming heatwave summer, maybe taking it um, to extinction then. So what is required is not more monitoring because we know what we know is is um, devastatingly clear that the impact of fish farming in uh, Macquarie Harbour has substantially been the cause for the low oxygen levels. And the response then, the action that is required is not more monitoring. So will you... Uh, and the EPA, uh, with the director Wes Ford here, require the destocking of finfish leases in Macquarie Harbour, um, along with the banning of gillnet fi uh, fishing in the harbour there, to prevent the skate's extinction. Thank you for the question. Um, we've uh, we've had a couple of opportunities to talk about this recently in in the parliament, and I'll, I'll just recap some of the actions that uh, have been taken and are underway uh, right now. Um, as I've mentioned before, our government has been investing in um, the research programs undertaken by IMAS and others since 2014 uh, regarding the the Morgian skate and its status and its um, uh, and its recovery. Um, most recently. Uh, in July last year, uh, the department, uh, NRE TAS, published an updated listing statement which incorporates recent research findings and um, contemporary species and population data and advice on research, conservation and management needs of the species. In August last year, uh, the EPA introduced a total permissible dissolved nitrogen output uh, for the aquaculture industry in Macquarie Harbour, uh, which reduces allowable dissolved nitrogen outputs by approximately 10% uh, compared to 2021 levels. In November 2022, uh, NRE developed interim gill netting actions which aim to protect the Morgian skate while still allowing some recreational um, netting access for local fishers. And um, the um, now that's been done uh, with feedback and consultation from West Coast Recreation uh, Association. I really want to thank Brian Gardner and the members of that group for their constructive approach um, so that um, they can continue to, uh, to, to uh, catch flounder, but also at the same time uh, reduce the risk of harm to the skate from that activity. And we're pleased to say that they remain engaged in uh, work to review um, future uh, planning and regulation of fishing in Macquarie Harbour. Uh, NRE Tasmania has also supported um, Cradle Coast NRM in their delivery of a federally funded um, Morgian Skate Awareness Program uh, as well, uh, which implemented a range of initiatives so we can all to raise... be aware of how close it is to extinction. I think it's really important to um, work with the local community, particularly kids in our schools, Makes engage no people. Well, <laughs> Just at, tell at, them at, that you're at, monitoring it at, to extinction. Well, well, they don't need to know. Actually, don't tell them. It just will give them nightmares. I'm, I, I won't have you disparage the work that's been done. I've just listed a range of... Of, of actions that are being taken and have been uh, taken and planned and delivered uh, as recently as over the last year in direct response to new information arising about the status of the skate, building on you know, 10 years of research that this government has been investing in and a relationship with IMAS that will continue. So we are uh, taking action. Um, you're wrong to characterise it as doing nothing or as monitoring to extinction. I know it's your cheap line that you like to run, but there's a lot of work going on by a lot of very dedicated people to get this absolutely right. That work's continuing now. There are a series of workshops and partnerships <coughs> involving researchers, the Australian government, the Tasmanian government, which will be held over coming months, uh, where we aim to go to the next level of developing a conservation action plan for the species with a series of actions to be taken to support that, including examination of ex-situ um, breeding programs so that we can build up potentially 
um, the ability to reintroduce species into the area to build their numbers up and support their survival, working with Hydro Tasmania as well regarding the role of their inflows into the harbour in yes. securing um, uh, ocean generated um, recharge events that, that, that boost uh, oxygen levels in the harbour. And, and, I, and I won't have you um, say there's nothing being done or that nobody cares because there's a lot of people in this room and listening who do. Mm, thank you, Minister. A question for um, the Director of the Through EPA. me, please. Well, yeah. actually, that's, that's you works. might like to normalise the works. fact that independent statutory authorities have to go through the Minister, but if Dr Ford is in fact independent, as you've made the EPA, then why can't I address him a question? Because that's what's always been done at this table before you've tried to normalise the fact that the EPA is entirely shackled to your authority. I'm just following convention. Well, you should that's the convention me. your government's put in. We've always sat here in the past and asked questions of independent statutory authority. So I have a question for Dr Ford, whether it's through you or not. Proceed. Mr Ford, would you agree... Through me. Would you agree that the, uh, the in environmental licences in Macquarie Harbour that are due to expire on the 30th of November, uh, that you should look at declining their extension given the uh, critical state of the Morgian Skate? Minister, uh, in accordance with the processes in the legislation around renewal, the that's not a matter for consideration. I can only deal with renewal of licences in accordance with the provisions of the legislation. And But don't you have powers to be able to establish new uh, licence conditions on the basis of the changing environment? Through, uh, I, have a, I have a power through a separate process to be able to impose additional conditions and that will be clearly the intent when the new environmental standard is implemented. Do you accept that there might not be time to save the Morgian Skate if we don't act quickly by the evidence of the IMS? Uh, the EPA is working as part of the consortium of people looking at this at the moment. So we're working with the department and with IMS in terms of and looking at their advice. So we're part of a process. And do you agree that the proposal by Hydro to um, release more flows uh, from the river into the basin might be beneficial for fish farms uh, retaining their fish biomass um, being alive during a heat wave but will have almost no um, impact whatsoever on the lower part of the harbour and the oxygen levels there because there won't be any mixing of those waters. So it's a sort of a solution that will benefit fish farms keeping their fish in the water over a hot summer, but it won't help the oxygen levels for the skate. Uh, I don't agree with that. And the reason why I don't agree with that is that the relationship in Macquarie Harbour around the hydrodynamics is very complex. What is known is that the recharge in the harbour is driven by the strong northwesterly events and that if you, in fact, reduce freshwater flow at the time of those strong events, you allow more seawater into the harbour to be able to regenerate and allow the oxygen to rebuild. So it's not about what happens in the surface waters, it's actually about the hydro reducing their flow during periods of time to allow more seawater into the harbour. And do you agree that the primary reason that the, lo the oxygen levels have become so um, devastatingly low in the lower harbour is because of um, the contribution of fish farm um, nutrients into the harbour? Um, in relation to what was happening in when I took over um, the operation or took over control of the regulation of salmon, Yes, there was a significant decline in oxygen levels in most likelihood because of the activities of salmon. Um, since I've been the regulator of the salmon industry in Macquarie Harbour, I've reduced the biomass and therefore the effective demand on oxygen by more than half over the period of the last six years. Um, those actions have continued. At this point in time, the oxygen levels are recovering through the process. and. You know, there has been a reduction in biomass and that's produced a positive benefit.